Hello and welcome to this screencast where I will focus on how to insert HTML tags. One of the methods is uh, using this uh, insert open close tag optionally with current word command has a key equivalent of uh, control less than which you uh, you should make yourself familiar with because uh, you'll use it a lot. If I just execute it like this it will insert a paragraph tag. I can overtype the tag name. I can um, add arguments which are not mirrored uh, unlike the actual tag name which is mirrored as you can see. Then I can tap into the body of this tag and when I'm done I can tap out of this. Now um, that was with uh, no, sele no selection and no word. If I type a word and use the same key I get the this version. Let me actually switch to HTML because then you'll see it actually auto indents like this. So that's uh, type your word, press control less than and it will wrap it like this. Title. It also works with the selection. For example, I can select this thing, uh, use my control less than, and I get this. It also knows about uh, inline tags, like uh, no self closing tags, like horizontal ruler, and image tag, where you will typically uh, do an argument. So that's all done by the insert open close tag which you can find the source code for in the bundle editor, in the HTML bundle. It is an uh, insert open close tag. Uh, works with the selected text or current word, uh, inserts as a snippet, and the source is, is just a Ruby script which uh, reads the input, cases it against some regular expressions, and inserts a snippet accordingly. Now they are also uh, per tag snippets. If we sw switch to snippets, for example, we have a uh, head snip to insert a typical header. So if I go go here, do my HTML and uh, press the type head. The tab trigger here is head, as you can also see it's uh, marked here. So I simply press tab and I get this. And you can see the title is actually derived from the file name, but as there is no file name here, it uh, just uses page title. There are other uh, snippets, for example, if we want a style sheet. Um, looks like this, and uh, in this context, we're actually no longer in uh, the HTML context. We're in the cascading style sheet context. So now we have a, a set of new snippets, which is uh, local to the cascading style sheet mode. This looks uh, like a lot, but uh, they are all keyed to the same tab trigger uh, for each group. So we can type something like background, like this, and then we can select the background URL. And there's of course a, a lot of uh, these uh, tags, for example a form, or we could do a table, and so on. Now as you can see here I can just delete that. So that was uh, actually two ways, there's uh, control less than for this one, and then there's uh, tag, na tab na tag name and tab uh, for this one. Now uh, another one is uh, also a snippet but it's a little different because uh, in case we already have some text here I can uh, select this text and say I want to wrap this in a tag um, then we have a special snippet here uh, this one wrap selection in open close tags you can see it like here in open close tags what this does is uh, it inserts a snippet where we have a start tag, we have an end tag with a regular expression substitution which removes the argument part, and then we have the selected text in the middle. And this doesn't uh, work with the tab trigger, it works with the key equivalent instead, which is a uh, control shift w for wrap. So if I do control shift w, it actually wraps this in a paragraph tag. And again, I can simply overtype it, and I can again uh, provide an, an argument. And uh, yeah, I can tap when I'm done. There's a uh, variation, var variation of this, but it is actually very useful. Uh, some title, I can do this for example, rabbit, and then I have title here. A variation is, uh, is a command, which instead of wrapping the selection um, in open close tags, it wraps each line in the selected text in open close tags. Let me show you um, let me do something longer like this. 
I select these. Instead of using the Control Shift W, uh, which wraps it in a paragraph tag, I use Control Shift Command W, and each line is now wrapped. And I can do span uh, ID equals something, and it has the same feature where it uh, doesn't mirror the tag. Let me use list items, and afterwards. Afterwards, I can wrap the entire thing in uh, an unnumbered list. And you can see I can fold this, but I can also select it just to pretty it up. And I have an uh, indent selection just to make it look right. Um, let me show you something not really related to tags. But I showed you last time that I have uh, this uh, neat column selection line that doesn't really give any meaning here. Let me do uh, class instead. Now let's uh, instead imagine I want to remove these last tags. This is not so easy because uh, they do, don't align. What I can do is I can select all lines and then I have uh, edit each line in selection, which has a key component of course. It places the carrot on the last line of the, f of the first line. <laughs> the last uh, column of the first line and here I can type new stuff but I can actually also go back and not only can I go back and insert stuff I can also delete stuff like this so I can delete the entire thing and let's say I want to make this uh, into a single line what I did here was I used the unwrap selection um, that was a uh, sidestep as usual. <laughs> so, uh, one more way to insert a tag is uh, in the uh, automation uh, menu. This is uh, rarely used, but it's there. It's insert closing tag. It's rarely used because uh, almost always you, you uh, insert both tags at the same time. Um, like this. But it's, it's there when you need it.